Hey everybody, it's me, Marco from Analog Zinks, and today we're going to talk about the Polaroid SX70 and how you put some new skin on that camera. Okay, some things first. Um, well, you maybe got a Polaroid like this, with this leather like completely white where it, uh, where it comes out and everything, and you just want to put some new skin on it. Um, or just like here on this camera, well, my different Polaroid 670, where the leather is coming off on the edges here, and I just want to remove that and get a new leather uh, on it and give it a nice new look. So what do you need actually? Um, first of all, we need to remove the leather of this camera. We show this in some detail. Um, there's these different versions and they tend to be different in removing the leather. So sometimes you could be lucky and all the leather gets off with like because it's glued to one foil and you can just like put it off in one piece. Other times it crumbles into hundreds of pieces and it takes you hours and hours to remove it. We will see because I think these cameras have both of it. Like easy removal and yeah, hundreds of hours of removal, yeah. I had one polar camera like this here and I gave it to a guy who works with leather and said yeah could you put please put some new skin on this camera and gave him the camera without telling him too much. This is what it came out with. Um, hopefully you can see the whole body is scratched because he used two hard tools to remove it. Because I told you the leather is hard to get off and he used really hard tools. So there's even like one millimeter deep scratches down here at the camera. And well that's not the worst part because the leather comes on top so that could be covered. But the problem is he didn't really watch out with the parts and there's moving parts like the viewfinder and one thing that's on the bottom which I showed you last episode on the SX70 is where the film comes out and there's a little metal thing here and as you can see he completely bend it and I haven't found a method to bend it back and fix that camera again so well that's future work but as you can see the whole body is full of scratches and everything up here, so he didn't do a good job. The leather wasn't sticking on the camera and I was pissed. So hopefully I'm gonna do a better job today by removing the leather of the camera. Okay, what should you do or how should we work on the camera? Actually, if we remove the leather, I would always keep the camera closed like this and start off. First start with the bottom of the camera, remove the big leather part here and then we go forward. And this part here, the front, we always move, like work to the front of the camera, so all the leather gets removed and we don't bend this metal. So never pull, like never pull here up, always go like this direction and remove it. Um, on top here, we start removing on the viewfinder, keep it, like hold it still while remove, because otherwise it will like maybe break off. And then we remove the parts down here, like just go around the viewfinder. And then we really watch out when we work on the viewfinder, we should open the camera a little bit and see how much parts there are that we need to remove already. What do we need on tools to remove the leather? Well, I tried it with a cutter knife and stuff like that to remove it, but they have really hard edges. So today we're gonna use this um, painter's knife, it's called. It's a really thin piece of metal. Um, but the edges are not too sharp, so I hope we can work with this one on the camera and remove the leather really good. Um, otherwise, we are going to use some um, mineral solvent. Um, in German, it's called uh, Spezialbenzin to solve the um, the glue. But you always have to watch out because these things also attack uh, the plastic, so you have to give it a clean wipe afterwards. Then what I also bought is a different kind of brand stuff, which is a sticker remover. Um, and I tried both of these, like on the both of these, on the white camera to remove the remaining letter that was on here. And they worked pretty good, but this one worked a little bit better. So we will see on the other cameras. We start by putting on some gloves, cause always safety first, the mineral solvent is pretty dangerous to use for your skin and also the glue is amazingly sticky and you don't want to get it on your hands too much. We start with the black camera and you see here the first part I try to get off the, from the ladder and it starts crumbling so we will have a hard time getting everything off. You can see me here cutting off the first layer of the ladder, um, it's going off piece by piece, it takes quite some time 
And as soon as I got the first layer off, I used the solvent to get rid of the remaining stains and soak the leather a little bit so it can get it off easily. As soon as it's soaked, you can kind of grind it off. And you see now there's a foil still on there. You could leave that foil, but I went on and removed it with a Q-tip and the mineral solvent to get rid of the glue and slowly peeled it off. After I peeled everything off, I cleaned it with the solvent and it looks pretty good. So we can continue with the SX-70 Alpha now. Um, this camera is a little different. The leather is on kind of an aluminum foil. This golden foil is pretty tough. Uh, you can see me working on it and it takes quite some force to get it off. But as soon as you start, you can see I can bend the first edge and start cutting off the glue. This time I just go through it with the knife and the glue starts to cut. And you can just peel it off slowly by going through with the knife and it always bends a little bit more. But this glue is sticky. It ripped off my glove actually when I tried. Okay, we just continue and rip off that last piece of the camera and now we are at the top of the camera. We really have to watch out here so we don't put too much force on that lid that opens to get out the film. So just cut it off and at the end I turned it off so I don't have uh, force pulling away and it just went off pretty easy. And first thing is done, we have the bottom of the camera, remove the leather, there's still some glue on it, so we're going to take care of that later. First we've got to remove the leather on the top. We start the viewfinder, hold the viewfinder when you start, because it's pretty wobbly and we don't want to break it. Also, <laughs> these parts are sticky again. <laughs> and yeah, just cut off the leather slowly, you can see me doing that by using the same movement, always cutting through. And then when you have all the leather removed, we take the solvent again and just wipe over all the camera till it's clean and everything is shiny. Okay, remove the leather now. So we got a clean camera and you can see the clean camera is like wiped off. I removed all the, the remaining glue stains and now we're gonna put on some new leather. What we did is like, you need to cut out the leather. In the description below you can find two links to um, the stencils of the SX-70 lettering. Um, a friend of mine, Thomas, was kind enough to share them with us. He drew them a while back and they work perfectly. You can just print, print them and glue them on some leather and cut it out by hand. Or you can do it as we did and use the laser cutter. And we cut out three different colors, like of leather. I had this leather laying around for quite some time because I got a, a bunch of leather from an old studio that did product photography and I just took the leather and put it in my storage and now I could use it. What I did actually is like, before, before I cut the leather out, I went there and put some double-sided gluing foil on the back of the leather. So now it's easy to put the new leather on the camera. And we're going straight into it. I put the first piece on the viewfinder, it's the smallest piece you can find. Then we start on the front part of the camera, just go over with a paper towel and some pressure. Then we open the camera to put the last piece of the top on, because you need to put it below the viewfinder, align it straight and then just use some force if you, when you write a line to put the tape on the camera. Just wipe over it so it's sticking on all places. So you can see we are finished with the top, we can close the camera again and go on to the bottom part of the camera and put these foils on. Remove the safety foil of the gluing again and put it on the bottom. See that you're aligned with all the edges. As soon as you're aligned use some force to get the tape on there. The last piece for the camera, stick it on, go over it with some towel, wipe it clean 
and here you can see that beauty all of it is in place okay um, we're finally finished and what came out is this beautiful shiny red s670 with new leather cut out and glued on it um, I think it looks really amazing I let you choose what you want you could choose whatever material you want and put it on just look that it's not too thick as you can see maybe the leather has to be kind of one millimeter thick and then it works I only put new leather on the S670 Alpha and not on the black version I had here this one is still clean I think I'm gonna go for something special with this one I don't know what yet maybe you can give me some suggestions what would you do on this black piece would you go for wood would you go for leather which color um, drop me a line if you have an idea what we should put on this camera and then we're gonna finish this too just make it something that I can cut actually and not steal or something like that okay please I think that's it for today if you have any questions about lettering the camera just drop me a line and we will figure something out so as you saw in the video before there's quite a difference between putting the letter of the black against putting the letter of the silver camera silver camera took me max one uh, like half an hour to put the letter off and a new letter on more than two hours just to get the letter of this camera to get it off take your time just put a movie in and watch something and just slowly work your way try not to scratch the edges I unfortunately went off and there's one little scratch here now which I hope yeah it's not too bad but I can't even see it really but take your time just get the ladder off first then you can get rid of this little plastic fall that's all, like that actually the ladder is stick on and then you should be fine to put something new on don't forget to wipe the camera clean before you put new ladder on top try not to go too hard on the parts when you work on the camera otherwise I think it turned out amazing I really love the red and it looks cool with the silver and red in combination I mean come on look at this beauty it's just stunning now and yeah I think that's gonna be my main camera now so if you have any questions just drop them below as I said already um, please hit subscribe if you like what I do and want to see more of my content and I hope to see you next time bye